To celebrate National Library Week, please enjoy this presentation on the history of the Aurora Public Library. Joseph McCarty arrived on the island that is now the site of downtown Aurora in April of 1834. McCarty came west from New York looking for a river site to build a mill. His brother Samuel joined him soon after and the settlement was named McCarty Mills for the brothers Grist Mill and Saw Mill. Aurora was platted in 1835 and the first school opened the following year. In 1837, when a post office was established, the village became Aurora, named for the goddess of the dawn. Twenty years later, the east and west sides of Aurora united and were incorporated into one city. In the aftermath of the Civil War, the Soldiers' Monument Association decided to build a memorial building. The Grand Army of the Republic Memorial Hall was dedicated in 1878. In 1881, the city established a free library and the memorial building was turned over to the library directors. The building space was shared between the library and the Grand Army of the Republic, which built a second story to be used for their hall. In 1900, the president of the library board, Dr. W.A. College, wrote to Andrew Carnegie asking for funds for a library building. Carnegie donated $50,000 on the grounds that the city continued its annual $5,000 library tax and supplied a site. The Carnegie Building was opened for use on August 22, 1904 at 1 East Benton Street. During World War II, the Aurora Public Library participated in the National Victory Book Campaign and collected thousands of books to send to the armed forces. In 1942 alone, 5,173 books were collected. In a 1953 experiment, a bookmobile was leased from the Illinois State Library to extend services to Aurora school children. Pleased with the results, the library purchased that bookmobile and has employed one ever since. In 1969, the library underwent a major renovation. The original Carnegie facade was demolished and replaced by a modern facade. The expansion project tripled the size of the main library building by adding two three-story wings. Just 11 years later, the children's department was expanded and remodeled. Then, in 1988 and 1989, an automated circulation system was added and computers were introduced as the library catalog. The Eola Road branch opened on the city's east side in 1993 as part of a building partnership with the Fox Valley Park District. 
Five years later, the West Branch opened as part of a building partnership with the West Aurora School District in Washington Middle School. In 2003, the Eola Road Branch underwent an expansion project that more than doubled its size to accommodate explosive growth. With an eye to the future, the library purchased the former Beacon News property at 101 South River Street in early 2010. Three years later, the library was awarded a $10.8 million state grant for a new building project. The groundbreaking ceremony for the new downtown library building took place on May 1, 2013. The Richard and Gina Santori Public Library of Aurora opened to the public on June 14, 2015 at 101 South River Street. This has been a presentation on the history of the Aurora Public Library. Thanks for watching.